are looking at an IELTS Task 2 discussion essay. As you can see, here is an example. So there is a statement followed by a question. And it's asking you to discuss both sides of the argument and give your opinion. So it's really important that you discuss both sides of the argument equally and not just focus on the side that you agree with. We're going to look at the structure and the contents of this type of essay. So let's begin. So here is an example essay. And as you can see, it's been broken down into three main parts. You have the introduction, the main body and the conclusion. OK, first, we're going to look at the introduction and there are three steps you need to take. So to write it, uh, first, we're going to focus on the first step, which is how to paraphrase the question. Now, paraphrasing the question just means rewriting the question in your own words. So as you can see, this question is very, very long. So there's a lot of paraphrasing that you need to do. And using synonyms will help you do this. So here is the answer that the writer has given. Um, and as you can see, the writer has used lots of synonyms uh, to paraphrase the question. So let's look at some examples. So as you can see, instead of uh, negative impact, she said uh, adversely affected. And she's put affected by in the passive form, which is also great. OK. And instead of plants and animals, she said plant life and wildlife. And instead of the world, she said the earth. Now, as I said before, this question is unusually long, so you have to use an unusually large number of synonyms, um, which you can see here. Okay, you can always pause the video um, to take some notes. Okay, once you've done that, you need to present the side of the argument that you disagree with, and you give a very short supporting reason, and then you give your opinion with a supporting reason. And if you see the words highlighted in green, these words will help you to do this. So start the sentence with many people feel, while many people feel. Um, so you, you can use that phrase to present the side that you disagree with. And before giving your own opinion, um, you can write, I believe, okay? So let's have another look again. This is the summary. So first you paraphrase the question, then you state the side you disagree with and give a reason, and then state your opinion and also give a reason. So notice how it's short and don't give too many details at this stage um, because that's what you're going to do next in the main body. So we're going to look in more detail now at the main body and the four steps that you need to take um, when writing it. Okay, so first you begin paragraph two with a topic sentence, and then you present one side of the argument. And this is the side of the argument that you disagree with. And to help support your answer, you can also give an example. Then you do exactly the same in the next paragraph, except this time, you're discussing the other side of the argument, and this is the side of the argument which you agree with. You can notice too that there is also an example, but don't worry if you don't have enough time in the exam. If you just give one example, um, that's perfectly acceptable. And you can also give two if you have time in each paragraph. So we're going to focus now on the topic sentences. Now, topic sentences are very important to help you structure your paragraph. Um, they're very good because when your reader starts reading your paragraph, they know exactly what it's going to be about. And they're also good for you because it gives you a clear idea of how to write your paragraph. So as you can see, the topic sentence in green refers directly back to what you wrote in the introduction. And as you can see, you wrote your, with your own words as well. 
Okay, and you do exactly the same in the next paragraph. So the topic sentence again um, focuses on the other side of the discussion um, and what you wrote in the introduction. And again, you haven't used the same words, you have written it again using different words. Okay, so let's do a quick review. So for the main body, you start off with a topic sentence, which is important for structure. Um, then you, in paragraph two, you outline the side of the argument you disagree with, giving an example. And then in the next paragraph, you also start with a topic sentence. Then you outline the side of the argument you agree with. And if you have time, you can give examples as well, either in, so in one paragraph, um, it's important to give an example, but you can also give an example in both paragraphs. Okay, so all that's left now is the conclusion. So let's have a look at the conclusion. So as you can see in the conclusion, it starts by summarizing the side of the argument that you disagree with. And then you go on to state your own opinion with reasons. And I'm going to show you a word here that's very useful for doing this. So the word however is great to use in discussion essays um, because it shows contrast. So you're contrasting how other people feel and then you're finishing with your own opinion. Okay, so here is the completed essay. Um, here's the summary. Again, in the conclusion, summarize first the side that you disagree with and then state your opinion with reasons. And we've highlighted here some words in green, which are really useful um, for your exam. They're linking words and they're very important because they help with the flow of your ideas and they're good for coherence and cohesion, which you get marks for in the exam. Okay, so I really hope that this presentation has been useful for you. If you would like to access more of our resources and more videos like this, um, please visit us at our website, which is www.elearningenglish.com. You can click on the link in the box below. On our website, you'll find lots of useful resources. So we have online practices and tests. There's also the option of a free trial um, there's a two month writing course as well, and there are assignments that you can do um, that can be checked by us as well. So good luck for your exam. Uh, take care and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.